Ukraine is fending off another swarm of Russian drone attacks, according to the country's military. Ukraine shot down 18 Iranian-made Iranian -made drones launched overnight. It comes just one day after Russia launched its largest missile barrages since the war began. And meanwhile, Russian President Vladimir Putin says he has invited his count Chinese counterpart, Xi Jinping, to visit Moscow next year. The two leaders met virtually earlier today. Putin has been hoping to strengthen ties with Beijing as sanctions continue to impact Russia's economy. CBS News foreign correspondent Ian Lee is in Ukraine with the latest. So, Ian, what's the situation like on the ground where you are? Mm. Yeah, Deborah, we are in Dnipro, which is about 100 miles from the main front line where a lot of that activity is going on, about 75 miles from the closest front line. But throughout yesterday and today, we're getting air alerts all the time, probably uh, about a dozen or so. Uh, and that's because there's just so much activity going on in the skies above Ukraine. And these air alerts don't necessarily mean that Russia has launched a missile or a drone if a Russian plane goes into a the neighboring sky, these alerts go out just to give people time to get to the basement. But, uh, you know, it just kind of gives you an idea of what people on a daily basis are going through, that these alerts, these uh, sirens are going out. We get alerts on our phones. Uh, and then you do get times when they do launch drones or they launch missiles. Uh, but these drones, as you pointed out, for the most part, they've been shot down every time they've been launched at Ukraine. And how is Ukraine responding, Ian, to this latest barrage of attacks? Mm. You know, the one thing they can do is just to keep their skies clear. And, you know, they have been able to shoot down the drones. The missiles have proven to be harder, even though they've been able to shoot a lot of them down. Some still get through and cause uh, quite a bit of damage. Uh, and so for right now, what Ukraine can do is just protect its skies with surface to air missiles and and other means to shooting down anything that Russia sends at them. But there are uh, other ways that Ukraine has been addressing this. One has been, well, Ukraine hasn't officially said it, but a Russia is accusing Ukraine of using long-range uh, explosive drones targeting bases deep inside Russia that uh, the, where their planes are being stored that have launched these missiles towards Ukraine. That is one way. But really, it is going to be uh, the ability to protect their skies, basically create a sort of iron dome, if you will, over the country so that Russia can't launch anything into it. And Ian, we know the Russian strikes have knocked out power for millions across the country. So do we know when that might be restored? What's the strategy there? Mm -hmm. You know, that is the biggest thing right now. We heard President Zelensky talk about it last night. There's millions of people without power right now. Uh, the president said pe the you know, crews are working around the clock trying to get it back restored. Uh, but, you know, it is cold right now. People are suffering in it. You know, getting the spare parts has also been difficult. And we're hearing that Ukraine is asking other Eastern European countries that have similar uh, infrastructure to donate to help restore Ukraine's power. But really, as long as Russia can launch these strikes and yesterday's uh, they said it was a massive strike against their infrastructure. As long as that continues, this is a problem that's not going to go away. And Ian, real quick, uh, Peace Summit, anything new on that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Deborah, you know, this is something that both sides have been talking about. You know, we heard from Putin saying that he's ready to talk with all parties involved about the, the necessary steps for some sort of solution to this war. But, you know, Ukraine has come back and said, listen, unless Russia leaves all of Ukrainian territory, and that includes Crimea, which is essentially a non-starter for Russia, then they don't have any interest in having any peace talk so far. Also, Ukraine says that they want Russia to face war crimes tribunals. So that's something that, at least with this current government in mind, Moscow isn't likely going to happen. So really, it seems like this war is going to be settled on the battlefield because both sides seem as far away as possible from actually peace negotiations. Absolutely. Well, Ian Lee, thank you so much.